it continues to move east, we will watch for heavy snow, much like we've already seen now. Mason City has picked up six inches, even four inches in Waterloo, Iowa. And as it moves through the Ohio Valley, another narrow band of three to six inches are possible. We may even find some snow around the New York City area as the low itself. Notice moving east by later this afternoon. Now, as this low pressure system gets a little bit closer to the northeast, we will watch the winds over New England subside a bit as this morning winds are gusting to some 20 and 30 miles per hour, making wind chill factors over the northeast brutal. It feels like 35 degrees below zero in Albany, 36 below in Burlington, Vermont. So very, very cold over central and northern New England. Make sure that you dress appropriately layered clothing is best throughout this region today temperatures elsewhere not too bad it's uh, warmed up to 36 degrees in Atlanta 45 around a Little Rock, Arkansas, but notice the colder temperatures to the north here that's behind that frontal boundary. And winds have been gusting in the nation's midsection to some 30 and 40 miles per hour with 44 mile, mile per hour wind gusts this hour in Wichita, Kansas, as those southerly winds quickly change to a northwesterly direction behind the front. It's raining in Seattle, 47 degrees, San Francisco, 42, 50 in L.A. already after seeing some 85 degrees yesterday for a record high we had weak Santa Ana's blowing offshore let's take a look at the forecast now as we show you the jet stream carving out a trough of low pressure that's why those systems are following this trajectory as they pull out of Alberta Canada and clip their way across the Ohio Valley that's why we call them Alberta clippers and provide the snow throughout the region the next system bring a little bit of light rain now we've seen light rain around McAllen, Texas, and Kill um, let's see, Kingstown, Texas, this morning, but it is very, very light. We do not anticipate any heavy, heavy amounts. As we take you through Monday, the general configuration of the jet stream doesn't change all that much, as we'll watch the moisture over Texas move a little farther into the southeast. Now then, let's look ahead the forecast for the rest of this Super Bowl weekend. The weekend outlook is sponsored by Pearl Vision. This and other frame styles are available at Pearl Vision Centers and Pearl Express. A look at your afternoon highs today. Of course, cold as where we'll find that burst of snow, teens and 20s here, but elsewhere we're talking about warm, nice weather. 50s and 60s over the southeast. Keep in mind the windy conditions in the nation's midsection and off the Pacific Northwest coast. It'll be warm again today and tomorrow in Southern California and Arizona as 70s are expected for afternoon highs. Here's the clipper now moving through the Ohio Valley today. Tomorrow it will be out to sea as it, it will f move very, very quickly through the Ohio Valley. But we'll watch another developing and pretty much follow the same path that the first one followed. But we do think this one may be just a little bit north in latitude. So some places like Detroit and central New York and Pennsylvania will get the brunt of the snow from that fast-moving clipper. More unsettled weather out west as we go through Monday with the nation's midsection, windy and quiet. Frost and Sun Bonnet. And the cold weather alert is sponsored by the Sears. Oh, no. It's sponsored by the Frost and Sun Bonnet. Keep your car cool in the heat and frost free in the winter. Now, it's much cooler today than this time yesterday, about uh, 41 degrees cooler in Burlington, Vermont. This is the 24-hour temperature change as the colder air has filtered over central and northern New England. It's 4 degrees below zero right now in Burlington, Vermont, 13 in Buffalo, 18 in Detroit. Low temperatures this morning shaping up like this, and notice that it hasn't warmed all that much over the Ohio Valley and New England. This is where we have the coldest air across the lower 48. The rest of the nation doesn't look too bad, actually. Uh, it's 49 right now in L.A. after seeing some 85 degrees yesterday. That was a record high. Morning lows tomorrow. Cold dust over the Great Lakes and in the northeast again with wind chills way down there. Some 20 and 40 degrees below zero. And